Time to poop, monster daddy. I ain't poop. Give me a butt. Jeffy, no, stop it. No, give me a butt, daddy. I Jeffy, Jeffy, stop it. Put your shirt down. No. Jeffy, just put it down. I'm the poop monster, daddy. I gotta eat that butt. Give me that butt. No, Je Jeffy, stop. Give me that butt, daddy. Je Jeffy, stop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Th that must be Rosalina. Just, just wait right here. I'm gonna go hide, daddy. You're you, but you gotta tell her to find me, okay? Uh, fine, Jeffy. So, Mario, what do you want to do to d Mario, what's he doing? Oh, yeah, he's hiding. He wants you to find him. She can't find me, daddy. Oh, where's Jeffy? I don't Where know. Where'd he go? Where's Jeffy? Oh, I put my pants, dad. I put my pants right here underneath the couch. Uh, 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 he's right there. I found him. Oh. I, I found him. Oh. Hey, Jeffy, how about you go play toys with Bowser's son? Okay. Jeffy, out. What? Oh. Where'd he go? Jeffy. Come on, Thomas. You can make the flip. You can make it. Oh, he made it! Oh, they're all making it! Oh, my God! Hey, Junior, what noise? Oh, playing with my new Thomas Choice, he looking flips. Oh, see, look, he's making it! Wow. That's really cool. Hey, Junior, what is this right here? Oh, that's a trampoline. A trampoline? What are you doing? Oh, you, you jump on it. You jump on it? Can I do it? Yeah, do it. That's yeah, pretty fun, dude. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's really cool. Hey, Junior, guess what? What? What if I jumped from the trampoline onto the table? What will happen? I don't know what would happen. You should try it. I should? You try it. All right, I'm going. You can make it. Uh. Uh. Jeffy? Jeffy, are you, are you okay? Jeffy? Uh, Jeffy? Jeffy? Excuse me, uh, busty tits. Oh, hi there. What do you want? Well, um, me, me and Jeffy were playing in my playroom, and, and he fell off the trampoline, and, and I think he died. What? Yes, yes, he died, yes. yes Mario, we have to go check on him. Oh, I don't care. Oh, my God, Jeffy. Oh, oh no. Uh, Mario, you have to do something. Uh, it, it seems like the pencil went farther up his nose. Oh, my gosh. Do you think he has brain damage? Not more than he already had. Mario. Fine. Mario, go call the doctor. Okay, fine. I'll call the doctor. Oh, Jeffy. <laughs> All right. Seems to be the problem here. Uh, we think he's dead. Please tell me he's dead. I'll be the judge of that. Nope, he's not dead. Oh, Dang my it. God. Hello, everyone. What? Jeffy, you were faking it. I'm sorry, doctor. It was a false alarm. He's just being stupid. Yeah, well, you're still getting the bill. <laughs> hey, I got a question. Not now, Jeffy. I'm mad at you. But it's really important. No. Well, I'm still going to ask it. Well, why am I wearing this diaper? <sighs> so your pants don't get dirty, Jeffy. Well, why is it on the outside of my pants? So your diaper doesn't get dirty. But that defeats the purpose of the diaper. I know! The diaper is supposed to get dirty because if I sat in it in my pants, then I would get butt excoriation and my butt would break down and then eventually it would get infected, causing you to have to remove some of my butt. What? Well, the, that's absolutely right, actually. Well, 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 so I'm getting rid of this doctor. Huh. Well, where, where you learn that from? Mario, what's going on? I, I don't know. Do doctor, he, he's talking kind of smart, and he, he, he was a retard. Well, well, that's not nice. And I got another question. What, what? Why am I wearing this helmet? So you don't hurt yourself because you run into stuff and you always act stupid? Well, it's a bicycle helmet. I, I and I'm not riding a bicycle, so I don't need this helmet. I mean, you don't if, if, if you're not... So I'm you're, taking the helmet off. Uh, okay. Huh. Why is he acting like that, Doctor? He used to act all stupid, but now he's acting smart. Well, um, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey kid, uh, what's pi? The food or the number? Yeah, the, the number. Well, the number is easy. That's 3.14159265359. Wow, that's, that's, that's completely right. Yeah. Well, well, where would you learn that, Jeffy? Wow. Uh, um, uh, 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 hold, hold on. Uh, uh, kid, solve this. What? A Rubik's Cube? Yeah, a what? Rubik's really? Cube. Really? There's that's no way really he's gonna, easy. I mean, that's he can't, too easy. He can't solve it that easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rubik's Cube are pretty hard. Even. Done. What? 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 Hey, you I, solved I, the Rubik's Cube, Jeffy! I've never seen somebody do it that fast. It's, it's, all it is is algorithms. What? It's simple math. What? Wow. Um, uh, 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 why is he acting smart like this, Doctor? Uh, uh, What's going on? I, I don't know. Uh, I, I think we should give him an IQ test. Oh, okay. Uh, but, come on, Jeffy. We're, right. we're gonna go. 
And that's how a flux capacitor deteriorates under high octane pressure. All right, so the results for his IQ test came back, and he scored a 300. Dang it, I was going for a 301. What, is 300 good? It's really good. It's like the best I've ever seen. I mean, even Einstein only had a 162. What, so he has like double of Einstein? Yeah, your kid is smarter than Einstein. He's literally a genius. Oh, are you serious? Oh my God, oh, oh, do you know why he's so smart? Now, I have no idea, but you know, I, I really think you should consider entering him into the International World Smartest Person competition. What's that? It, it's a competition where all the smartest people in the world get together and try to figure out who's the smartest. Well, well that would just be a waste of time. No, not really. I mean, the prize is a million dollars. Did you say a million dollars? Yeah, a million dollars. A million dollars, Jeffy, I love you. You're the best son a father could ask for. Huh, we're gonna enter you in that competition and you're gonna win. Uh, when is it, like uh, tomorrow, uh, next week? No, it's like nine months from now. I just, <laughs> nine uh, months? Well, well, you can't have everything right now. You just have to wait. All right, Jeffy, you're looking smart. You're looking real smart. So what I want you to do is I want you to go answer all those questions correctly and win this competition because we believe in you, Jeffy. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we believe in you. We're so proud of you. And, and I've always known there was something special about you, Jeffy. And I'm so happy to call you my son. Oh, I love you so much, Jeffy. Now go win that million dollars so we can put you through college so you can make us more money. Thanks, Father. But actually, I had another plan. Oh, what? If I won that million dollars, I would actually invest it in oil and 3D printing of organs and within the next two years, that money should go up to about $4.2 billion. I'm so proud of you, son. All right, all right, well, we're going to be in the stands watching, so you make us proud, Jeffy. We love you. You're so smart. Good luck. I love you. Bye. I really do. All right, Cody, we got this. We're going to win this year. Yeah, we could do this. Uh, what, what? Oh, shit. Ugh. Hey, Target. Are you ready to lose like you did last year and cry like a little whiny bitch? Whatever, Hawking, you're going down. You're not going to win this year. Oh, you think you're so smart with your, with your weird chair and messed up glasses. Oh, look at me. I don't have to wear shoes. Ugh. Go away, you target. What? I banged your mom last what? night what? in front of your daddy. Her ass was as big as a black pole. It was an escapable power. <laughs> Shut up, hockey! I'm gonna slash your wheelchair tires! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the International World Smartest Person Contest, where we will figure out who the world's smartest person is. The winner will receive one million dollars and the opportunity to work for my company. So let's meet the contestants, and God. Hey, I'm Cody. What's up, cocksuckers? I am the best. Oh, hello! My name is Jackie Chu, and I'm a super Asian. My eyes are so slant, I can't see a thing. So you're gonna have to read me the question. Salutations, everyone. My name is Jeffy. All right, now that we've met the contestants, we'll start by asking them a series of questions. If a contestant gets a question wrong, they're eliminated from the competition. We'll go until there's one contestant left standing, unless you're Stephen Hawking's, and you're sitting. So we'll start with Cody with the first question. Cody, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, first question. How many months have 28 days? Oh, uh, how many months have 28 days? Uh, that would be February. Yeah, just, just February. That answer is uh... wrong. They all have 28 days. Get out of here. You're eliminated. N no, no. You, you, you said months with, with only 28, but, but, but no, no. no you, you, God, God damn it. No, it's a stupid. <sighs> Dumb fuck. All right, Stephen Hawking, your first question is, how long is the Great Wall of China? That is easy. The answer is 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 All right. All right, Mr. Hawking. Let's get you to the shop. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right. Well, since he's eliminated, I guess that question will go to you, uh, 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 Bing Bong. Oh, you ask me this question because I'm Chinese? You think I'm dumb? You think you're super racist? You're super racist. But the answer is. 13,170 miles wrong. Correct! Yeah, shocker, he's fucking Chinese. I am so Asian. All right, Jeffy, your first question is, why is the transverse spatial extent of a photon proportional to its wavelength, which is a longitudinal quantity? Pizza cake, chocolate cake, the answer is quite simple. In quantum mechanics, the uncertainty principle, also known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, is any of a variety of mathematical inequalities asserting a fundamental limit to the precision with which certain pairs of physical properties of a particle, known as complementary variables, 
such as position X and momentum P can be known. That is correct, Jeffy! <laughs> if I was still wearing that diaper, I'd smack the shit out of it. All right, ping pong table, your next question is, a liquid that has stronger cohesive forces than adhesive forces would have which type of meniscus? The answer is convex. Man, you are Asian. That is correct. All right, Jeffy, your second question is, in order to extract isobutyric acid from a solution of diethyl ether, one should wash the solution with what? I thought you were going to give me a hard one. The correct answer is three milliliter washes of water. So what would happen is the isobutyric acid will enter the aqueous layer and wash off the organic layer of diethyl ether. Correct again, Jeffy. I know. All right, Mugu Gaipan, your next question is, a hockey puck of a mass of 0.16 kilograms is slapped so that its velocity is 50 meters per second. God, it slides. 40 meters across the ice before coming to rest. So how much work is done by friction on the puck? God. The answer is negative 200 joules. All right, if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes, I would have said you were an Asian. But you got it right, Mulan. All right, Jeffy, your third question is, an object of mass three kilograms floats motionless in a fluid of specific gravity 0.8 so what is the magnitude of the buoyant force? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Alright, well the answer is easy. It's 30 newtons. So, since the object is not moving, its acceleration must be zero, obviously. So the net force on it must also be zero, duh. Therefore, the magnitude of the buoyant force upward must equal the magnitude of the weight downward. So the specific gravity is extraneous information. Correct again, Jeffy. All right, sweet and sour chicken. Your next question is, what is the main ingredient in sushi? The answer is dog. Like, part, part, dog. That is actually incorrect. The correct answer is rice. Rice? It can be rice. You put dog in everything. You put dog in macaroni, in pizza, in tacos. The answer is dog. It's so dumb, you dumb! All right, Jeffy, Jackie Chu is just eliminated. So if you get this last question right, you're the world's smartest person, and you win a million dollars, and the opportunity to work for my company, okay? So your question is, what is eight minus four? Are you kidding me? That answer is so easy. The answer is simple. It's simply, uh, 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 hold on. Oh, oh, I got his knees. Oh, oh, ah! oh, oh. What's eight minus four? Eight. Well, no. How, how'd you get that? Because you have eight up there, and you take away a four, so it's not there anymore, and you, and you eight left. So it's like eight. The answer is eight. The answer is clearly eight. You take away the four, so the four's not there anymore, and then what you have left, you have eight. The answer is eight. Uh, You're wrong. The answer was four. You're eliminating. <sighs> Fuck this pain, Joel. Fuck these pants. Fuck my sweater. Fuck my unibrow. The answer is fucking eight. You take away the fucking four, so it's not there anymore, and then you have eight, and that's left. So you got eight minus four, take it the fuck away, and then put a line underneath it. The answer is eight. Fuck it. Mario, it's nice to have the old Jeffy back. No, I miss smart Jeffy. He was going to make me money. Hey, Daddy. Look, I got my helmet on my pee pee and my diaper on my head. Jeffy, just stop it! Just stop it! <laughs> what is up, cocksuckers? Wanna see me do a sick wheelie? Ow, 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 ow.